today's news, why not everyone is happy with IKEA's first store in Korea? Why not everyone happy? I see both sides of the issue very, very clearly. What are both sides of the issue? Well, you have the small mom and pop stores, which are certainly going to struggle a lot more now because you have big business coming in that are going to take over and kind of push them out and they put things at a low price. This has very little to do with the mom and pop, if you ask me. This is all about, there are three Korean corporations that sell these sorts of things that IKEA is gonna come in and sell. Latte, Emar, and Home Plus. They're Korean companies that basically dominate the market. Now IKEA is coming in and, you know, like IKEA is Swedish, right? Yes. Yeah, and but they're gonna Home try Plus and. Is British. What is? Home Plus. Home Plus is Korean. Home Plus is owned by Tesco. Yeah, but Home That's Plus British. is all run by Korean 100%. Okay, whatever. They have Home Plus in England? Do you guys have Home Plus in England? No. There's no Home Plus in anywhere but they have besides Tesco. in Korea. And Tesco is Home Plus. Home Plus is Korean company. All right. It is, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. The problem here also is Ikea came in and the price for the same thing in Ikea Korea is a lot higher than it is everywhere else. And that's because shit is more expensive in Korea. It's not always more expensive. Actually, Did you read the article though? They're I really, didn't... look at, they're really pissed off because apparently IKEA thinks South Koreans are a bunch of suckers. A company like this should be punished. Angry comments posted online after the price disclosure. Okay, some things are more expensive, other things are not more expensive. Are you talking about in IKEA? Yes, okay, about in IKEA. For example, you can still buy curtains for 20 bucks. You can still Piece buy. Piece of plastic? No, like actual curtains. curtains. Oh, curtains. You know, like. You know, certain They've things- They're opening tomorrow. How do you know for sure? You because can you can for... check the freaking website. Have you looked at the website? <laughs> yes, exactly. I did. I did actually just now, right before we started recording. It said, ha where ha Korea IKEA Korea, where happiness comes home or home is happiness or something. Okay. Prices in IKEA Korea are actually a lot lower than prices are in many other Korean stores. And that's the other side that I was going to get to is, dang, why did it take so long for IKEA Korea to come to Korea? Because seriously, this apartment would not look like this. It would be a lot more chic and hip and look a lot nicer. That's what IKEA does, makes it hip and chic? No, but I love IKEA. A little history with like foreign companies and corporations coming and opening up shop in Korea. There used to be Walmart in Korea. Did you know that? I did not know Before that. Emart, before Home Plus, Walmart was here. In fact, I used to do my shopping at Walmart. It was a huge trip to go to Walmart. There's no Costco either. And at one point, this was back in 02, but at one point Walmart left when all of the big corporations started really opening up and getting a foothold like Emart, Home Plus, Walte, which dominate the market at this point. And they must have kicked Walmart out. Carrefour was also here, and that was another one that was a big, like, Walmart style, E-Mart yes. style. I mean, Ikea is only furniture, right? They don't sell food. But no, all they household, do, sell some. do they? Yeah. No, but, but not in a restaurant, like, or like, do they sell like Yeah, groceries? like a restaurant. Okay. Like food court style. Right. They're gonna really give E-Mart and Home Plus and Latte, like, competition in non-perishable items. Well, I think the other- That's why they don't want them coming in here and they're expecting Ikea to come in with low prices and Ikea's coming in with higher prices because in Korea, they Korean people that are gonna be running Korean Ikea and all these other, they rob themselves. They raise prices on almost everything. People always ask us how much do the prices of groceries and things like that cost? I mean, you seen our prices of groceries in Korea video, which is like our most popular video on our vlog channel. What? That looks like baked potato skins. I think it's, I believe they're types of mushroom. So this package is 200 bucks. Mushrooms for 200 bucks. Mushrooms for 200 bucks. It was Chusak. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter, no, it was, first of all, it was Lunar New Year, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Mushrooms for 200 bucks for grandma? Grandma doesn't want no $200 mushroom. <laughs> Yay, Ikea! <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think of Ikea coming to Korea and putting a little competition in the air here. I'll make sure to put a couple links down below so you can read in case you're not that familiar with corporations here or like the way business is done and you can read those and see if you think Ikea coming here is a good idea from a Korean's perspective, from a non-Korean's perspective. It's interesting. Yes, it is. Click the like button for Ikea. 
Yeah, I'm happy they're coming. The more like competition, the better. Prices go down when there's more competition. It's like part of microeconomics or macroeconomics or something. <laughs> okay, whatever. I didn't study economics. <laughs> and press stuff. the subscribe button if you haven't already for more news. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.